all thirsty. Let me pour myself a large glass of water. Yes, you must drink plenty of water. In fact, humans can live over a month with no food, but only live a few days without drinking water. It's odorless, it's tasteless, yet it's the most refreshing drink, and it stops you from becoming dehydrated while maintaining a balanced diet. Now, that water you just drank has a long story. What do you mean? Well, that water, once upon a time, could have rained down on a dinosaur. What? Or been frozen on top of Mount Kilimanjaro. It could have flowed down the Niger River, been used by farmers for irrigation in Zimbabwe, or filled a waterhole for zebras to drink from in the Serengeti. The water we use now is the same supply that has been on Earth for billions of years. Its quality is renewed again and again, and it goes around and round and round in a cycle we call the water cycle. Ew! Does this mean that this water has probably been drunk by someone else? Yes, probably been through many people over the history of time, drunk, peed out, rain down on a mountain, been snow in Antarctica, and maybe even gushed down a waterfall. Oh, that's strange. But I suppose water is in so many different places. So it makes sense if it keeps going round in a cycle so we don't run out of it. The existence of water is essential for life on Earth. It covers 70% of the Earth's surface, although only a fraction of that is fresh water that we can drink. Life cannot exist without water. In fact, humans are 60% water. So far, we are the only planet that we know of that has water and therefore has life. It's our most precious renewable resource. What if we find another planet with water on it? That means there could be other animals living there. Even aliens? Well, yes, maybe. It's also the reason that when you go to space and look back at our planet, that it looks like a giant big marble floating around in the blackness of space. But on our planet Earth, where is all this water? It's in the oceans. Yes, the oceans consist of almost 97% of the world's water. But there are other large water bodies too. What about the fresh water? In Africa, we have the second largest freshwater lake in the world and the largest in Africa. It's called Lake Victoria. We also have Lake Malawi, Lake Tanganyika, the longest freshwater lake in the world, and Lake Chad. We also have mighty rivers like the Niger River, Congo, the Zambezi, River Nile, which is the longest river in the world, and the Orange River. Can you find freshwater bodies near you? Where is the nearest freshwater lake? What about a river near you? Where does it start and where does it end? Use a map to find out what you can. Let's go. Let's go. We are learning every day. But what is water? Hmm. I think we might need to ask Mr. Water Droplet here. Hi, Mr. Droplet. What are you? Well, I'm made up of lots of molecules. In fact, a water droplet like me is made up of one and a half sextillions of molecules. A sextillion? What is that? A sextillion is a thousand million million million, which is written like this. One zero 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 zero
and hydrogen. In fact, there are two hydrogen atoms for every oxygen atom. So, when scientists write me in a chemical formula, they write it like this. H2O, which stands for two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom is equal to a molecule of water. Now you know what I am made of and how important I am to both humans and the planet. After the break, we will learn more about how I change form. <laughs> 